one morning, Percy was waiting for Anti to bring the freight cars. When he saw a very familiar engine from China. Ni hao, Percy, said Hong Mei. Oh, hello, Hong Mei. I'm surprised that you're back after being absent for a while. Yeah, so Topham Hat said I have to work in the quarry to help you guys. Hong Mei was about to say something else, but she was rudely bumped by Anti. Oh, is this your little girlfriend? Teased Anti. Huh. <laughs> At least I'm not a dumb, stupid, steamy. Leave me alone, said Hong Mei. Yeah, go mind your business. Anti just rolled his eyes and carried on. Really sorry about Anti. He's a really naughty engine. Oh, so that's why I see he doesn't have any friends. Said Hong Mei. One morning, Hong Mei took some freight cars to the building site. She was just about to continue when her funnel got stuck by the bridge. Ugh, she said. I can't get through. That's because I told the workman to put it there. Ha 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 ha. Left hand tie. Hong Mei was very cross. Come on, Hong Mei, said her driver. We can't be here all day. Hong Mei tried to make a great effort, and with not the strength, she pushed, pushed the bridge out the way. But she was still cross at Anti. For one day, Anti went too far. One morning, Diesel brought... A freight car for James to take. What's this? said James. That's for you, said Diesel. Wow, Diesel, you're surprised me being helpful. Huh, I may not like stinky steamies, but at least I'm getting the job done. Unlike that Black Thomas knockoff, snorted Diesel. James continued on his way, but what he didn't know is that Anti had saw him. Oh, I'm well, gonna show that red engine, he said. Tell him to play a trick on him. Whoa, cried James. This is way too fast. Slow down, James, cried his driver. James tried. Oh no, help, help, help. Yikes. Oh no, oh no, cried James. Help me. Oh no, cried James. Driver, you okay? I may be, but how are we gonna get down? Oh no, cried James. Help! Help! Help me, cried James. Then Diesel came. Oh, hello, Oily. What have you done, you idiot? I thought you said you didn't like steamies. I may not like them, but even this is a low. Even for me, you... Steamy knockoff! How dare he! Thundered Anti. Diesel coupled up to James and tried to pull him. Er, er, you're too heavy! Groaned Diesel. Come on, Diesel! Said his driver. You can do it. But Diesel couldn't. His wheels were stuck. Bother! Rumbled Diesel. Then Thomas and Percy saw Diesel struggle. Come on, Percy! Said Thomas. I'm coming! Said Percy. With for nothing. With enough effort, all three engines pulled James back on the rails, safe and sound. Oh, thanks, and Diesel, I'm surprised you help. I may not like Steamy, said Diesel, but I want to kind of redeem myself, even though I'm not even a Steamy fan. And you did a good job, said a voice. It was Sir Topham Hat. Pretend this is him. Anti, he thundered loudly. You will go back to the other railway and never return back to my railway. James could have, James's driver could have been injured or even killed, and James could have got derailed off the track. Uh, yes, sir," groaned Anti. And Diesel said, "Sir Topham Hat, you are a really useful engine." Diesel was surprised.
Three cheers for Diesel, whistled Thomas. Percy and James also whistled. Well, I'm surprised I'm getting this much credit, sir. You are a real useful Diesel, Diesel. Devious, but today you proved to redeem yourself. Yeah, thanks, Diesel, whistled James. Even though Diesel didn't like steamies, he kinda had to agree. For anti, however, well, he'll return to Mother Day to get revenge. I'll get revenge on those steamies. And they'll all pay, even Thomas. Heh <laughs> heh. You may be lucky to have me off top him, but I'll come back next year whenever that happens.